it going, everybody? Welcome back to the news desk. I know what some of you are thinking, like, what? What day is this? What's going on? Is it Saturday already? Is my internal clock off? No, it's not you. It's me. And seriously, really, it's not you. It's me this time. See, those of you who have been wondering what the heck's been going on with the holiday season, you just think, hey, you know, Dirt took some time off. It was Christmas. It was New Year's. And that kind of had something to do with it. But there was a whole bunch of stuff going on. And uh, what it boils down to is I was going to do this really long news desk right before Christmas to kind of do like a whole bunch of stuff for the holidays and to take some time off. And then I was putting so much stuff into it that it kept when I was trying to like render stuff to put into the video, it kept falling apart. And so then I was trying to put it into the presentation to have some video and stuff playing behind the screen, try to work it in that way. And that wasn't really working out too well because this is just running off an old netbook I have running a version of Tiny XP on it. And, uh, you know, then on top of all of that, then one day I just woke up and I was sick and I was running a fever and had a cold and sinus and sore throat and uh, went to the doctor and I got like three different types of pills and nasal spray and all this stuff that I had to do. And then about the time I finally started to get over that, it was Christmas. And then, you know, Christmas is what it is. And those of you with small kids know what I mean. And then the next thing you know, it's New Year's and then here we are. So I have all this stuff to go over. And I kind of thought, instead of trying to go through all the thing again of putting all this stuff together, I'm just going to do a bunch of news desks. And I may do one every other day. I might do one every day. I might do two a day. It just kind of depends on the day and what's going on and what I have. But I've got a ton of stuff to talk about. So we're just going to kick it off. We're just going to kick it off right now. And we're kicking it off with Armor Rodders. Now, a lot of you saw the big update that they had a couple weeks ago. They put a whole bunch of stuff on their Facebook page. The new Motion comic is available. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of just amazing stuff going on with them. And you've probably seen all of this stuff already, but I want to talk about it. Uh, because, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was on Facebook, and I get these zip files of all these pictures that they send me, and they want to talk about, and they want to cover all this stuff. And now I feel bad, because I got sick, and I had computer problems, and I didn't get a chance to get to it, but I want to give it some time and I want to get it out there because there is something so awesome in this update and a lot of people I don't think paid a whole lot of attention to it and I, I really want to draw some attention to it and it's this guy now I'm not sure how you say this Bele Bel Belrophon Belepharon I'm not sure what you're going to uh, end up with that being the uh, you know, actual way of pronouncing it but this this figure uh, just makes me so incredibly happy. And I know a lot of you are looking at it right now, and you're going, well, yeah, yeah, the sculpt, you know, it looks pretty nice, whatever. Uh, and then, you know, yeah, it's got some articulation. You can see that it kind of moves, and, you know, it's like, oh, it's got extra bendy parts, so it can, uh, you know, do some extra articulation. Well, that's cool. You know, highly articulated figures, we like that. You know, we like action figures. That's an action figure. That's kind of cool. So, you know, why not? We, we, we like that. Sure. So what's the big deal? It's, uh, oh, it's got accessories. It comes with accessories. That's cool. It's got little guns and a jetpack thingy. And, okay, you know, that's, you know, pretty neat. Oh, and you can put them on the guy. And then the guy still has articulation. Well, that's cool. I mean, we're still in the realm of stuff that, you know, that's cool and, and, and whatever. But, uh, you know, a lot of you are just kind of looking at it and you're going, okay, that's a, that's a nice looking figure. So what's the big deal? Why is Dirt so happy about this? Well, bada bing. That's why. This thing is tiny. This is just a couple centimeters tall. I, I know if you're watching this, you're probably in the part of the world doesn't use the metric system, so you're like centimeters. Uh, I hardly know her. No, it's the wrong joke. It doesn't really work because it's meters. So that doesn't mean anything. But tight. Look at that hand. Tiny. This is a tiny little guy. Let me give you a point of reference here. Remember, remember these guys, muscle? Yeah, I actually have a whole drawer of muscle uh, handy at all times because you never know what kind of situation. Tiny little muscle guy. Tiny little arm marauders pilot. Yeah, this makes me so super excited. And that means his accessories, the guns, the jetpack, tiny, tiny little guy. So every time I'm looking through this stuff, at the arm marauder stuff, I mean, we like big mechs. I mean, we all like big robot Voltrons and 
and, and Transformers and, you know, all kinds of, of big robot things. We like the idea of that. But there's, for me, there's also something seriously awesome about giant robots and tiny little guys, especially one that's so wonderfully articulated. One that has so many points of articulation, so many things that you're going to be able to do, so many poses you can put it in, so many awesome things you're going to be able to do with this figure, along with the giant robot stuff that they're working on. And a lot of people are focusing on the giant robot stuff, and they're not really paying attention to this guy. And this guy, I love this guy. This is my guy. He, me and him, we're, we're hanging out. We're going to be buddies. Now, along with the photos of these, uh, you know, the, the prototype uh, that they have there, they also sent me a bunch of conceptual drawings um, so you can really get an idea of some of the stuff that they have in store for this, and it's all super cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to their Facebook page in the description uh, so that way, you know, you can go and check out all of the neat stuff that they're doing. And I also, uh, you know, want to say thanks for them sending this stuff to me. And, you know, I feel bad. Like I said, I feel bad. I got sick. I was like almost dying, except not really dying, just really uncomfortable. Uh, but I went to the doctor. The doctor gave me drugs. So there's got to be something wrong. You know, if the doctor says, hey, you need pharmaceuticals, eh, you know, there's something to be worried about. But our Marauders, super awesome. So that is something to be looking forward to. And guys, don't forget, you want to contact me, you can get a hold of me, Twitter, Facebook, email, uh, call our 24-hour voicemail line, uh, go watch It Figures, hang out at our message board at jointheforums.com, all of that great stuff, always available to you. And then stay tuned, because I'm going to be doing another news desk. i got some comic reviews that I, I'm going to be doing videos for. Uh, you know, it's a new year, new attitude. Yay! Until I get sick, and then I may actually die the next time I get sick, but, you know, then someone's going to come in and take all my toys. But until that point, we're going to be doing a bunch of videos. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.